A couple of months ago, Instagram banned me for sharing our message on their platform. I spoke about young men's struggles. I spoke about mental health. I spoke about men killing themselves. And I didn't even get any kind of warning. I literally tried to go onto my Instagram profile the next day. And it literally said I was permanently deactivated for, uh, what was it? Destroying their like community guidelines, community standards that I was being toxic and some shit permanently banned. And for the last few months, I've had absolutely no social media on my phone. It's been great. But I've realized I'm not a pushover. I'm not someone who can just be fucking silenced like this. If YouTube did eventually, I hope not, but if YouTube did eventually cancel us, I wouldn't just stop spreading my message, would I? I wouldn't just sit there and think, oh, well, you know, uh, uh, guess I'll just uh, go back to playing Minecraft and hopefully go kill the Ender Dragon this time, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? What, what, do patch updates is there in League of Legends? Nah. I'd continue spreading the message because what else is there to do? This is what gives my life purpose. I refuse to be cancelled. We've got, <laughs> we have, I think, 12 TikTok accounts posting our message right now. 12 TikTok accounts. We have five Instagram profiles posting our message on there. You can go and even find them. Just search a Hamza. You won't know exactly which ones are mine because I've, I've told them, like, you know, don't um, say, oh, this one's ran by Hamza Seam or anything. But yeah, there's a lot. We've got three YouTube short channels which are employed by me and then there's also a bunch more that are just literally just posting our messages for free. There's a bunch more TikTok guys who I see are literally posting our messages for free because this message is important. And I want to start helping that again. I've started spreading the message again to these platforms, to Instagram, to Twitter, to TikTok, personally. Because this debate that we've always had of like, oh, but Hamza, you said social media is not good, but then you post your, your stuff on social media. You see, you still see some guys who, aren't, who are quite new to our channel say this, don't you? And maybe they don't really understand what's going on here. They say, I've, I previously said social media is bad, you shouldn't use it. But then they see me posting to social media on YouTube and they say, wait, that's contradicting yourself. And then obviously, m maybe not so obvious, but at least to me, I kind of knew like, well, if the ROI of me posting to YouTube is, is bigger and has a good impact, then it's worth it, isn't it? Would you say that the positive impact of our entire movement, our entire YouTube channel has been a positive or negative on men around the world? It's not, it's an easy answer, isn't it? It's obviously yes. So at that point, it's like, okay, we've used social media in the right positive way. And we plan to keep doing that. I see a lot of comments of people who, who I, I haven't, you know, I'll take responsibility. I haven't explained this well. That's why. We don't want to be silent. And the, the truth is that the, this message that we want to spread it's very interesting. The fastest, most, most impactful way for us to spread this message. What is it? Honestly, what is the fastest way for us to spread this message? Social media. It's so, come on. <laughs> like, it actually is, bro. It's like we're going against it and we fucking hate social media. And yet we're going to use their own platforms to spread the message. To be frank with you boys as well, the people who need this message the most are the guys on Instagram. The guys on TikTok. Yeah, that's very true, actually. The people who need social media, the people who need self-improvement the most are on there. So there is multiple of our accounts on these platforms. And this is the one that I'm logged into here. Uh, the, I have it on PC. I'll probably link it in this video just so you can see exactly. Well. I'll change the username, but I'll link it in this, this description so you can just see exactly which one is me. Because like me and Sam joked before, we saw one of the guys who I've employed and we were just like, just thinking like, oh yeah, by the way, um, he, what if he's messaging some bitches right now? Like, hey, hey, it's Hamza. Do you want to come over to Mexico where I live? <laughs> well, you yeah. Oh, yeah, shit, sure, yeah. The, the like fucking a, TikTok guy. Yeah, there's a guy on TikTok who's made a, an account impersonating Hamza and he's just selling some bullshit product yeah. about, like, a, it's like a jaw thing or yeah, something. Um, yeah, there's, a, there's at least one I've seen. No, there's two. There's one on TikTok, which is really malicious. He's pretending to be me. He's, a, he's wrote official Hamza, uh, Hamza TikTok page and he's edited my videos so, so well that it looks like I'm promoting his shitty product that he's linked in his, like, yeah, TikTok like thing. Audio yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like video edited 10, it. He's but, a level 10 video editor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's me saying like, oh yeah, I'm talking about mewing, right? You know that? I'm talking about mewing and I'm like, oh yeah, mewing will, uh, will change the shape of your jaw. And then he's just edited me into saying, this product, like it's weird glitch, like in the audio, will change the shape of your jaw. And it's like some fucking little shitty promo for some little, some um, chew toy thing to improve your jawline. Obviously it's just bullshit. Some, some yeah, and then there's another one on TikTok. On TikTok is worse. I've not seen anyone on Instagram. Obviously, there's people who've made pa pages off me, but there's on TikTok there was two malicious ones, and another one was just saying like official TikTok of Hamza's team, ran by Hamza's team, and he wasn't selling anything just yet, but he might do so on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything. There is multiple people who run pages for me, 
but they are hidden and I've told them to just hide it because I don't want, like at the same time, I, I don't totally want to be linked with them because I'm not closely managing them. If I was, then obviously they'd be, you know, so close to my team that I could trust them. But like, since I'm not totally managing them, I'm not looking at every single post that they make, I don't want to risk being tied to that just yet. There is one version of each social media profile that I, I totally have that is logged in, in on my PC, not even on my phone. And I'll link them in this one so you know exactly which one is me. The message is gonna continue being spread to every platform that we possibly can. That's why we're even on TikTok. And again, it's like TikTok's a bad thing. It's, it's ruining humanity. It's fucking China's greatest weapon against all of us. But why wouldn't we spread the message there? I wanted to clarify this and I hope you understand because I, I think it's a fantastic idea. I don't know how else we'd spread this message. Like what, what else would I do? Go rent billboards? <laughs> how the fuck else would you spread this message? Without... This is the best way to spread it, man. Any closing notes, Sammy boy? Yeah, so to spread the message on mass social media is uh, an incredibly powerful tool. However, it can be used uh, very negatively, but we hope to use it in a uh, positive light. I think we already have, to be honest. I think this has been pretty much the most positive use of YouTube of every platform so far is spreading this message. I was inspired by Tay, honestly, because I thought in, like, you know, everyone kept on telling me to post to TikTok and I just thought it was like a cesspit. I thought, why would I do that? You know, social media is bad for you. And then I saw Tate's message being spread on there. And as much as you might say, like, oh, you know, like TikTok videos don't really help anyone. They're too short. The thing is, yeah, fair enough, they're too short for us. But for a lot of guys, you see how many guys' lives have been changed from Tate's message being spread on there and then from ours. Guys, literally just two days ago, walking up, seeing me, be like, whoa, you guys, are you the guy from TikTok? They, literally, they didn't even know that I had a YouTube channel. They came up, it's like the, the videos helped them. Yeah, you know, they'd be more helped if they had the attention span to sit through a 10, 15 minute video and stuff, fair enough. But the video's still helping these guys because yeah, they, they need they, it. They can get funneled to the, the bigger, the more long form content as well from the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I look so flat. <laughs> no, so do I. I'm obvious. Fucking yeah. body dysmorphia. <laughs> I think we should delete social media. Yeah, we should cancel that. Let's see your kind of. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> My beard's clap, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro.